Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about doing deep inlays in Estelcam. Um, because it's a problem, you can do inlays that are very thin easily because you only have to um, modify the depth of the cut, the starting depth, and then it will do it in one go. But if you want to do deeper cuts that are like six or seven millimeters deep, Estelcam doesn't give you the option to cut it in several layers, so you would need to go full depth. Doing the hole for the inlay is very easy, it's just creating the toolpath in Astelcam and it does the step down automatically because you just need to go down your six or seven millimeters. If you want to do the plug, in theory, um, if you, as you can see in the top picture, um, if you just carve outside for the plug, it is not going to fit because obviously um, the top level of the plug will be as big as the top of the inlay. So it's not going to fit, as you can see in the upper picture. So what you have to do is set the starting depth lower to create an offset that allows you to put the plug into the inlay and um, you have to choose a depth of cut of two millimeters that will be the overcut that does not fit obviously and then a starting depth of minus or of 5.5 millimeters so you have half a millimeter for glue um, that it starts below the surface the problem being that you now have to cut like six millimeters deep in one go because there's no step down and that is a problem and in the following I'm going to show you how it is possible to do that with Astelcam. I know you can do that with with WeCalf Pro that you can um, change the toolpath order but you can't do that with Astelcam and you will not be able to. I asked Christian to to change that that you are able to change the order of the cuts but in calves but you can't. So what you do you can see now um, it is generating my code. I mirrored obviously mirrored the plug because otherwise it won't fit and generated the cuts for the inlay uh, for the plug I'm sorry and it's now um, you can see that I have a depth cutting depth of two millimeters and a starting depth of minus one millimeter. So the total cut is three millimeters deep. I save it as a project, I save it as um, an NC or G code so it can work and now I'm changing the starting depth from one millimeter to four millimeters and leave the depth of cut, save it again, because obviously you need a second one, as minus four millimeters, and export the G code again. And then as a last step, it's saving, you can see saving, saving, saving. As a last step, I am going to do it again now with a starting depth of 5.5 millimeters so I have got a total of 7.5 millimeters of the cut and 0 0.5 millimeters space for glue. Again save the project, save the g-code and then we can go to the next step. The next step is now to modify the g-code in a way that um, it will first either cut the v-calves or the clearing path, that's up to you. I this time chose to cut the v-calves first because I thought it might help with deflection. It didn't, spoiler, but um, I m thought it might. And what you do is open all three of the programs that you've just created and two blank documents and notepad. And you are now looking for M06, which is the tool change macro of Estelcam, at least if you use Estelcam as a post processor. If you use something else, you might use or might um, look for another command. But I'm looking for M06 and I'm copying everything that happens after it. So the, the um, 
the clearing tool path I copy it into a new document as well as the other tool path I copy it in the first document and I'm going to do that with all three depth so um, I'm going to combine all three codes of the clearing end mill and I'm going to combine all the three codes of the V carve um, with the with the V bit. So I just I'm just basically searching for M06, and then I'm copying all the code after that into the the new document, and I do it three times. And I'm I have to be careful not to choose the last three lines where it goes back to zero. You can see I'm going I'm leaving those out as to not copy them. Now I'm switching the document again and add everything that I copied below what I did before. And then I'm going to do that a third time. And after that's done, I have got three um codes combined into two, one for clearing and one for the V calves, just by using only Estelcam. And as you can see now we have got um, the toolpath, all three depth and it's going down one by one um, and finishing that one off before I then change to the V carve G code. Okay, now there was enough talking. Now you can see how it looks like. I'm first clearing everything with my 6mm end mill. You can see it clears the dove. And in the next steps you can see the V-carves, me gluing it in, me skipping all the sanding, and then the final product. I'm not going to talk anymore. You can just watch what happens. And I hope this tutorial helped a little bit and was understandable, a little bit at least. I tried. Like, points for trying. Thanks again for watching, have fun with the rest of the video.